What I want to show you here is a variation on the Yosemite Bowling. The Yosemite Bowling came to solve the issue with the regional bowling that can open up if it's repeatedly loaded from alternating directions, like so. The Yosemite finish solved it by tucking the end of the rope into the nut, but introduced another issue. You have to tighten the nut in the correct order, otherwise it falls apart. So here's another way to solve the bowling issue, only this time without being dependent on some tightening order. We start exactly like we do with the Yosemite bowling, with a simple inner bowling. The free end of the rope here passes behind the other two ropes. Now we finish it up, not by following the main rope out again, but by threading the free end through the center of the ring. In the center, there's one rope that crosses the ring from side to side. The free end comes from the front, passes behind this rope, and back to the front. And that is all there is to it. We tighten this up a bit, so that the free end of the rope gets locked up in the knot. Now, at first, this may look a little bit complicated, but it's actually very easy to check. We have two letters here. We have a capital Y, and we have an O-ring right behind it. We've already tested this knot numerous times, climbing with it, we've taken falls of up to six meters with it, and it held perfectly. This knot doesn't care about alternating load directions, and it doesn't become loose. It's also very easy to open. You can either pull out the free end of the rope, which never becomes completely welded in the knot, also not after taking a serious tumble. Or what you can also do is pull the leg of the Y to the side, like this, and then, just as one would open a regular bowling, you pull the two bowling loops away from each other and the knot becomes loose. So, thanks for watching. Uh, of course, we have to add a disclaimer here. We are by no way experts on the subject, and you should not use this knot for climbing until it has been properly tested by professionals. If you wish to test it yourself as well, you can always add a figure of eight before you thread this uh, Y-O knot.